Hi there, first step tutorial. Today I'm gonna teach you how we use it and uh, I will create some kind of program that to show you uh, what is going on and how we roll in this program. So as you can see all those controls, I will explain them. So this is one is new. It creates new uh, source code and stuff like this. So it will create new code, new page that you can write on it. This one is open file. You will have all your programs. You will save it, for example, you have eight programs and you will have all your programs here. Now, how we save a program, so we just do save source as, and that's it. And then this one is to save. This is undo, redo. This one is help. I will show you actually, you have more, lots of code in here those are sample programs which you can do you can also import it from there so you can just add this and you have the program ready you can just add some kind of functions and stuff like this so it is useful to use this this one is to assemble this one is to run the source debug when we debugging we will use terminate and we will see all the commands here stuff like this also, this one is to exit from the command uh, from the um, debugging. So that's our main window where we will write the code. This one, we will write uh, code like uh, programs like I don't know, adding numbers, stuff like this. So this will be everything will be here. Now uh, this is the code we will display. Sorry, hex for you all the all the uh, things you do in here will be displayed in hex in here and this is assembler and um, this one will show you how uh, what the memory <coughs> program takes we will not look at those two because there is no need for us to do so and this is the input and output so when we ask user for example for value we input it here and then output after the calculation is displayed here so while we start we start with for example when we declare variables we <coughs> need to have branch that says for example main and then say we can now do kind of variables we don't execute variables we just we, we do some kind of main function before and then branch it to after the variables are declared so to declare a variable, we, we write, for example, z, and let's say uh, it's block two, so it's two byte big. Now we can, for example, um, write main, so that this will branch to here. It will, it will declare this variable, but it will not execute it. So because if we will execute it, uh, probably the error will appear. Or, or for example. And um, it wouldn't uh, work, the program wouldn't work. So uh, we have the main to input value, uh, var uh, some kind of value into this z. Uh, we need to write deci and i. I uh, sorry, deci. That's how you write it. So decimal and this one is input. So decimal input. And then we write, for example, x. So, uh, sorry, z, that's our variable, z, and d is direct. We use direct with variables and intermediate we use with um, numbers. So now we can, for example, we need to load it, load accumulator, and then let's say we load z. And we, do, when we can do some kind of calculation, let's say, I don't know, um, to, uh, for example add calculation so we add we say add an accumulator 10 and intermediate and then we need to store it so store accumulator and Z D. okay so to so what will this program do uh, it will take the value from the user from here then you will load accumulator then you will add to uh, to the Z whatever we have here the value whatever we input it will add 10 and then store it in the z variable 
So if we want to print it out, we do des out, so decimal out, and then z. We always need to stop the program and then end it. So you can't run this, as you can see, invalid decimal input. You always need to put value in first and then you can run this. So for example, if I put now four, I run this, it's 14. So that's how it works. And this is the basic program. And this is a variable which we declare. This is branch to, it will branch. So it means it will uh, not loop, it will jump to the main. So main is here. So it will jump over to here. And we start our code from here. We also can do branches inside the code. So for example, here we can add a branch or something like this. So it, it doesn't need to be at the beginning. But if we want to, for example, start the code from here, because we don't execute the variables, so we have, for example, more variables like y block two. We don't want them to be executed. So we just branch them up to here, they will be declared, it will still work, and this code will be executed. Okay, so I think that's the, probably the basic of it. Um, we can have new, so it's the same as this one. Uh, edit, we can edit format if you can't see the code, we can edit it. We can also build assembler. This is the assembler. I can actually show it to you. This is the assembler. So it will show how many space the um, uh, statement, each statement takes. So this one takes three, this one five. Up to here we have seven, ten, ten. Then we have thirteen, then uh, sixteen. That's uh, one plus three. So uh, sixteen plus three is nineteen. Uh, Twenty-one and so on. So that's how it works. Also here we have main value 7, y5 and stuff like this. Uh, this is not necessarily needed for you because we will, I will not show you how, what, what is this for and stuff like this. Oh this was this is the uh, hex I think it's hex uh, probably yeah I'm not using it too because there's no point to it. It's basically this program, right? In, that's the program we write in here. So it's the same, we're just displayed in and values in, I think, hex. I don't know why it's ZZ here. There's no value ZZ in hex. But still, this is probably, yeah, the hex. And this is the program represented with hex. So you don't need to have, you don't need to look at this too. Uh, I think that's it probably for this tutorial. Okay, J values, of course change that's it for this tutorial next tutorial will um, show you how we do um, more than one variable and stuff like this multiple calculations so look forward to it visit my webpage uh, for more info for more tutorials and that's it bye